Church, the United Communities Coalition, speaking with Shelly Perio from uh, Living Free Health and, Health and Fitness. And she's also a naloxone distributor here locally in Pahrump. Um, Shelly, could you tell us a little bit about naloxone? Sure. Well, we, uh, we work with uh, the Nevada Southern uh, Health District and are able to get uh, naloxone free of charge. And what we do is we're able to provide training classes like the one we just did today. Um, in order to educate people on how to respond to an opioid overdose, to recognize what a potential opioid overdose looks like, and then to, uh, to take action, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what are somebody who's scared? Like, isn't there a good Samaritan law? Like, to, if the person dies anyway or something happens, they can't get in trouble, right? Right, well, there's a good Samaritan law that, that number one, if you look at the, the box of, uh, or the, the uh, naloxone, you'll see that it says pr prescription only. Right. So, so part of the law says that, um, that laymen can administer naloxone and then attached to that as well is a Good Samaritan law which states that um, essentially you, um, you're not going to get into trouble if you, in good faith, administer the, uh, the medication to somebody who you believe is suffering from an overdose. Okay. What about, are there any other uh, resources or available for people with uh, opioid use disorders out here in Pahrump? Or? Um, yeah, there, there are a number of agencies. I think the Nye Communities Coalition and our organization, Living Free Health, um, we tend to do a lot of prevention kinds of works, um, education, community education, classes, hosting 12-step meetings, those kinds of things. Uh, Living Free has uh, outpatient treatment, and um, that is for adults and adolescents, and there are a number, number of other organizations in Pahrump that also offer uh, substance use disorder treatment, and, uh, and like we do as well, um, substance use disorder, all substances, including opioid use disorders, and co-occurring mental health disorders. Okay, but if somebody needed an inpatient or detox, they would, they would have to go to Las Vegas for that? Yeah, at this time out here, there is no inpatient, uh, like residential kind of uh, addiction treatment, uh, nor is there detox. Correct. They need to go to Las Vegas. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.